heilige Teile wieder in Schwester. Am Hashem Chisku Venis Chasko. Nation of Hashem, be strong and be strengthened. We see all around us a world filled with fear, terror, and uncertainty. We hear of terrible suffering, chaylim, who are desperately ill, languishing in hospitals, all alone, fighting for their lives. We hear of livelihoods destroyed, fortunes wiped out. The most terrifying of all, the spilling of the Koyla Hatoyer in the Bati Medrasha, the Yeshiva Sakdoshes, the Talmud, the Talmud Torahs, the Chadorim, the Hevel Tiem Shel Tinoike Shel Beis Rabon, that Mekayim Kol Ha'Olam has fallen silent. We know that nothing in this world is a certainty. We live in an uncertain world. But one thing we know with Vadois, we know Ki lo yito yish Hashem amoy v'nachalosoy lo yazoy. HaKadosh Baruch Hu will not let go of his nation. He will not forsake his people. We know that nothing happens on its own. Everything is perfectly orchestrated by Avinu Shabbat Shemayim, by our Tatanus whose love for us, whose worry for us, is beyond the grasp of all human understanding. And we also know that this is all about us. Ein HaKadosh Baruch Hu mei v'peronis lo'olam elo b'shvil Yisrael. Ein HaKadosh Baruch Hu malish es ha'olam elo b'shvil Yisrael. That we feel like a small, frightened child. We feel we're not equipped, we're not in the madregas to deal with, to be part of so epic, so historic, so monumental an, an event that's obviously some, from far beyond this world. We were caught unprepared. Yet Klal Yisrael is shining. We are overwhelmed with gratitude to our Hatzola volunteers who are valiantly putting themselves at risk for the benefit of the Tzibur, for our community doctors who are tirelessly and selflessly sacrificing themselves to be the Shluchim of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to bring Rufus in Yeshua. We are full of gratitude to all of the health workers in all of the hospitals whose dedication is an inspiration to all of mankind. We are proud of our Hassanim and Kalos who have risen above the Nisyonis and acted with dignity and betochen and trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We are davening for all of Chayli Yisrael that they should be zoiche to lachme shamayim and to refuah shalayim and bakar. We just emerged from a Shabbos like never before. Established for most of us had no minyanim, no kriyasatayra, no pashat ha-chaydesh, no rishchaydesh benshin. Our body midrashim were closed. But it was a sublime and holy Shabbos. Although we were thrown out of our body knesias, not by the Germans, not by the communists, not by the Yivonim, not by the Romans, HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself sent out and in our hearts pounded with fear and echoed the words of the Navi Mi bikei zois mi adchem remois hatzeim Yet even if HaKadosh Baruch Hu says go out we still held on to him the British family we won't let you go because this nation, this long-suffering, glorious, gentle, humble nation is also a stubborn one. You created us with this stubbornness. And that's why we're still here. And so this Shabbos, we made Kiddush for our families.
And we said, Asher Kiddushonu B'mitzvoyso V'rotso V'onu Who wants us? The Shabbos Kodshecho B'ahabu V'rotso In Chaltonu We whispered, we trembled as we davened the Shodesh bench in the Yechidus. And we asked for Chaim Baruchim, Chaim Shal Brocho, Chaim Shal Parnoso. We asked for Shmuayz Toivayz, Besurayz Toivayz, and above all, Rufuah Shalem on Gula Kiroivo. When we parted from the Shabbos Kodesh, before Avdola, many of us said, the tefillah of the Heilige Baditshva, and rivers of tears flowed when we begged, Kot, from Avram, from Yitzchok, and from Yankov. Bahid, dein liebe Volk Yisrael, from Alum Baizim, and dein Elohim. The Vach, and the Chodesh, and the Yor, to uns kommen zu gesund, and zu machen, and zu brachen. We asked the Rabbi Nishlai, and we said, and we said, and we give us Koyach, nor dich zu dienen, nor dich zu leben. And we said, Avdola, Hine Ikel Yeshuasi, Eftach Veloi Efchod, Hashem Tzvokois, Ashrei Odom Boiteach Boch. And our children gathered and learned on the telephone. We said Yehesh Mei Rabba from porch to porch. And we gathered together with small, small crowd between the Samechos and the Kala. The story Ramatul Slonim had told, in the name, he told the story about Rabbi Shamash Astrapolo, the great Makubal. says that once in Chodesh Elul, he met the Yetzirah, and he saw that the Yetzirah looked very sad and very downtrodden. And he asked, why are you so upset? And he says, I, I work a whole year to be Machshul Kral Yisrael and Averis. And everything goes down, Latinia, and it comes to Chodesh Abel, they do tshuva. What am I supposed to do? Later in says he made tshuva, Rabbi Shamshin met the Yetzirah again, we saw he was all smiled. He said, what happened now? He said, ah, you think I'm going to sit around and do nothing? I got on, I tied it to the Bez and Shalmal, it's not fair, all my work goes lyric. And they gave me rishtus to bore a hole in the ship that's transporting all of the Esroigen. And to allow it to sink, so Klai Yisrael shouldn't be able to make kind of mitzvah of Dalad Mina. The Yontav of Sukkis, he said he met him again, and he saw that the, that the Yitzhahara was black with tar. He asked him, what happened? Was your plan not successful? And he says, oh, Betty, you shouldn't ask me. What happened to me? What a tragedy happened to me. Yes, the water got in and destroyed almost all of the Yisraelim, but the few that were left, Paul Yisro chased after them, and they offered great sums of money. The women sold their jewelry, and each Kehillah tried to purchase an Esrik, and people stood on line and waited to be out to Mekai in the midst of Dalit Minan. And with every Nanua, with every shake of the Lulav, they broke all of my bones. All of Kral Yisrael's mysterious Nefesh in these difficult situations, in the difficult time, all of the Tayr, all of the Tfil, all of the Chesed, all of this is shaking the heavens. And all this is going to bring Be'ez Hashem Yeshua's and the Chomas to all of Klal Yisrael. We're faced with a crisis that, we, that we, we don't remember such a thing. There's a virus, a coronavirus. The Pasuk says, Va'ato krono ba'oznei ha'om. Yidoin, call together Klal Yisrael. Gather those who are nemonim l'ashem ul'tayrosoi. Say, mi l'ashem elai. Hashem is calling out to us. What is happening? Why is it happening? The saying goes, there was veis retnisht, and there was ret veis Those who know don't say, and those who say don't know. And that's surely the case now. We don't know. We don't know what. But we know that there were those with some givist, and there were vases and the free dikadiris, there were Nevi'im and there were Tzadikim. And the Chofetz Chaim many, many times wrote in different places in his Svarim when different Mo'iroyas, and he said especially when Mo'iroyas that affect, he said almost the entire world and certainly all of the world, all of the Mo'iroyas and the Mikrim are Azorois v'hasroyas me'akadosh baruchu. Shenoshuv b'tshuva l'fnei b'as Mashiach tzidkenu. 
kasher kvar klasafti oido is there. Hakadosh Baruch Hu is calling out to us to do tshuva. He's sending us shluchim, like he used to send us neviim. The navi Yeshaya said tshuva Yisrael ad Hashem lekecho ki koshalta ba'avinecho. So he sends us mishorsov. He sends us eish loyeit. He sends us malachov to talk to us, to be more us to tshuva. We're locked into our homes. Ni'ila, it's a long ni'ila. Ni'ila is a lotion of being locked in. At the tefillah of ni'ila, every Eid is locked in in a private yechidus with the Rabbi Nishalaylam. And it's revealed his yechidus, his own personal shlichist in the world. It's just him and the Rabbi Nishalaylam. Now is the time that we can do a tshuva. Not just any tshuva, but a real tshuva. We've never been in such a situation. Let us flood the world with Yiddish Shetreren of Tshuva, and will disinfect the contaminated air through Heilige, Heilige Yiddish Shetreren of turning to the Rabbi Nishalelem and saying, we want to be Tzadikim. We were created as an Am Kadosh, the Am Kulam Tzadikim. We want to be Roy for Mashiach Tzadkenu. We want to be above all the contamination that's around us. And yes, we're filled with fear. Yes, it's a time. It's a frightening time. But on the Shoshana, we will mispala, luvachain, pain, pachtecho, Hashem alekeinu, al kol ma'asecho. Ve'imosecho, al kol ma'asecho, baroso. Virucho, kol ha'masin, v'yishtacho, lufonecho, kol abruin. A fear, when there's a fear of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. A fear of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not to break us. A fear from HaKadosh Baruch Hu is made to bring us to a muna. The Rebbein Yoyin HaMesech de Brochus talks about the Gemara says that we kareya b'boruch, we bow and we say boruch, and with like if we stand up straight and we say the shame Hashem. He says, v'hatam liyos kareya b'boruch, v'liskoi b'shem, v'bnei she b'sho she kareya mara ha-pachad v'hayira she yesh mulafonav. When we bow, we're showing the pachad and the awe that we have of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Ukeshezoikif, when we stand up, Mara ha betochen she yeshloi bechol im yono, she yetiv olav. We show that we have betochen akadish baruch, we be good to us. Beze, toli beze. She mi she yore me hashem yisborach, hu boi peach boi. As it says in the Postig, beyira sashem miftach oiz. Vayira omes hashem, then is vayaminu bashem uvo moisha avde. When we have fear of hashem, it brings us. To Emunah. And that's the only real betochen that there is. The Biskirov said, betochen that's not based on year is not real betochen. And we know that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is talking to us. And as Mamin and Bashem, we know that everything and everything is Yad Hashem and not Cholila and Mikra. And that we're Mukhiv to listen to the Kro No Ba'ozne Om. The Drosha Saran writes, Lepomim Mishachim. There are things that happen in the world, things that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is being mazir us and talking to us and ain't tofik ki mi sheroya kol elu hatlo yis Hashem be'emes hasro yis Hashem yisborach vo'idenu machzik bedarkei asher dorach bo and he stays in the path that he's been going in hu ki mi sheoyver avere v'kibol olav hasro v'hitter atzmer lemisa it's as if he was makabal the hasro and he disregarded as if he said I'm not accepting the hasro of the rabbi nishalayim we have to hear HaKadosh Baruch Hu talking to us. And we have to run to him with tshuva, with hachno, with rotsoin, to, 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 to be Avdei Hashem. We find in the Torah, three times we find the Indian of Magaifa. One was by the Maisa Egel, one is by the Parsha of Koirak, and one is by the Parsha of the Benoit Moyov. The Egel was the worship of false gods, dancing, alo- dancing around Avodah Zorah like Shikurim, and believing in Koiches beyond, believing in Koiches that are not a Kodesh Baruch. Koirach was the parish of Machloites, of Sinaschino, of Loshon Hore, of Zilzul and Merid and Talbide Chacham. And Benoit Moyov is the Chemo of the chemist, the Cambris, of Pritus and Gilearias. It is a time of emes, a time of truth. We have to be emes, we have to be honest. 
then we have to be mefashpish b'maisen. The parish of the eagle, the parish of the eagle, when we believed in other things, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, in this generation, and the frat, in the recent past, was made to us. He was showered us with a tremendous shefa. And many of us took it and used it the toys, with tzedakah v'chesed, to build Torah and mitzvahs to make Shem Shemayim. Yet some of us took this shefa and poured it into other things, poured it into new hasogis, new hasogis of Gashmias, of Oilam Hazeh. Not because we're bad, not because we're weak, but simply because we became shaken, we became intoxicated, and we lost our ability to think straight, and we started to live in a world that doesn't make any sense. And even though most of us were thinking people, were able to look at this and see how vulgar and grotesque, we looked at all of this with such zilzal, yet the hashpa of this enamored especially our youth and many of us. And we became accustomed to things, mamish, a life that could only be described as one with no gvulim, with no gedorim. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I am going to put a stop. I can't, I have to show you what I want. I have to show you what's true, what's meaningful. Open up any of our magazines, or from magazines from a week or two ago, from Kailam Ababel, and try to look now at the advertisements, at the discussions. See suddenly how empty, how frivolous, how unenticing, how, how, how meaningless, how beneath our dignity they're suddenly all seen. HaKadosh Baruch who is revealing to us and teaching us and telling us what we knew all along. Rav Deslin, the Sefer Nichtem Melio, and Chayle Gimel, in page 205, it says, Mamish, they read like words of prophecy. And he brings the Medrash that talks about Golis Edoim. The Medrash says, Zu Edoim. Lo Yigor. Goireres Malchus Achareo. It's the last Golis. Why is it called Chazir? Shemachzeres Atoro Libaleo. Says Rav Desle. All other Goliaths bring after them another Golis. But Golis Edoim is the last, it's the end of Anhogas Oil Mazah until Yemois HaMashiach. Mazeres HaTorah LeBaleo means that Malchus Moshiach Tzaymachas Umizgala Mitoich Malchus Edoim. Shal Yidei Churbono Shal Malchus Edoim Oilo Umizgala Malchus Shomayim. What is the destruction of Malchus Edoim? He says, Yovay rak al yidei churban o'ilam hazeh, kashe meidi ha-kodesh boruch hu es ha-o'ilom, l'matzov shi yisoydes chayo o'ilam hazeh yismoitetu. When the foundations of this world will start to fall apart, ha-shalva tis'aro, chayei ha-prat yishabchu l'chayei dago, en pachad v'yisurim, the world will tremble in fear of destruction. Then will be revealed before all. The arrogance of man who believed all his kadmusoi, bikibu shabri on his advancement to be able to be kovish the world, brings only to destruction. Oz Yakiru es haheder vahefsit shebechayo oilam hazeh. And then they will recognize and understand the hopelessness of chayo oilam hazeh, that they are merukonim, they are empty, mikol toichen ruchni, hamevilim rak lechloyo vahavadoin, that bring only to destruction and to loss. Kishe yisyaye shoodo milahasig ritsoy noisa vitavoythov. Only then will the light of Mashiach become revealed. 
and everybody will see Yiridosa v'cherbona shalmalches edoim le'ein koel. The Gemara says Mashiach sits at the gates of Rome, and Maral says the gate means the end of Rome, the header shall edoim b'soifo. Hirak al yidei hasogas bitul va'afsiyas oilam azeh. Only when we will understand the bitul, the emptiness of chay oilam azeh. Misugolim b'nei odom lihisroimim v'liroiz b'mabat ruchni. Only then we will be able to elevate ourselves and see from a perspective of truth of ruchnius the tisbatel malchis edoim v'oz yizgale oire shol mashiach. And then will be revealed the light of Mashiach. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is bringing us to a recognition, to an understanding, to a thing that every Yid knows and understands in his heart. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is telling us how he wants a Yontif to look, how he wants a Chasana to look. He doesn't want the Ishkal HaYosher Be'en of Yase. He doesn't want us to live without Gedorim. He doesn't want us to introduce every single new idea, every single new possibility, to, and to spread it around like a virus. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I will put a stop to this. I will put a stop to, I will put a stop to, to unbridled insanity. We've come to accept as normal Events, gatherings, chasanas. We, we take our children to see, to, 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 to see, to watch us act in a way that's just, it's just not who we are. It's just not who we are. What kind of chinuch is that? What happens to them? They, they, they go back to, to their classmates and they tell over what they saw. And then they spread, it spreads like, an, like a virus and infects everyone all around us. And even though many of us, Baruch Hashem, many Askonim, have worked so hard to teach us to be mitzamtzim, and we worked and we worked and we worked, and Baruch Hashem, many of us are coming to our senses, yet it's still an unbearable burden, and it cannot continue. And somebody was telling me that a hard-working person who worked so hard, and now his panos has been destroyed, and his last little bit, he's going to make yontiv. He says he, 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 he earns enough to support his family, but already seven years he's still paying off the choybis from a chasen he made seven years ago. And, and what are we getting for our money? Just misery, a life of, of slavery. How could a sane nation, an Am Chochom, how could we allow such a thing to happen to us? We have to we have to see Hakadosh Baruch Hu is showing us the way. We have so many, we have so much koiches, we have so much talent, we have so much creativity. We have to put an end. We have to get our askonim, our askonim who are able to do such wondrous things, who are able to put together extraordinary gatherings that involve millions of dollars and so many protim, and to execute them flawlessly, surely, surely we can get together in a room and not leave until, un, until we, we, we break this, this terrible oil off of Klal Yisrael. Because the, the, the economic catastrophe that all of this does is far greater to us, is far more damaging than the economic disaster of what the coronavirus has, has brought upon us. We have to put an end to the, the ridiculous words that nobody wants to attend, the meaningless Vachnacht, the Kedeshim, the endless shopping for what? To run away from, from ourselves. To, to, we're seeing now the, the, the clothing our children wore for Parshas Vayakel are perfectly beautiful for Yontif too. We're terrified now. We're facing our own mortality. We're terrified about our years. But we, we think nothing of cutting 30, 40 years off of our lives with nonsense, of, of, of total time wasting, of things that are not life, that are, that are, that are death. And 
and we've come to dance around these agolim. And what do they bring us? They don't bring us happiness. They bring us atzvahs. Our children are running from therapist to therapist, from medication to medication. Our young are, be, are, are, are becoming alcoholics. Our wives and children have to, have to watch as the rabbinic let them saying, stop, stop. Suddenly we can't travel. We can't go where we want. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is saying, stay home, stay home where you're needed. Yes, HaKadosh Baruch is telling us we have to put an end to the inane embarrassment of the whole Kivre Tzadikim industry and all its excesses. Yes, occasionally a person has to make a pilgrimage to a Tzadik. We have a new Luach, a new calendar. And all the moral pitfalls and the siyonis of all this travel. And better not to speak about it, Ahmad al How many millions, hundreds of millions, must be poured into the hands of the children of our murderers? How could we travel to Tzadikim? When we can owe thousands of dollars in schalimud or choivus, the tzaddik doesn't want us. The tzaddik doesn't need us then. He wants us to live al pitayre. HaKadosh Baruch wants us to have a new understanding of life. A new understanding of emes. A new tzura of what a Yiddish chasana should look like. And we don't know where this is going to end. We're hoping it's going to end with Mashiach. But if it doesn't end with Mashiach, Khalilo, what are we going to do? How are we going to go back? We must never go back to abnormal. We must never ever go back to, to, to the whole abnormality, the senseless, totally out of control existence. Somebody was telling me that, oh, was that a chasana? And, 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 oh, it's so sad, so sad, there was nobody there. I said, yes, but what was planned to be was even sadder. Achmano Litzlon. Moira Vera Boisa, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is teaching us. In this, we are living, he's teaching us to live ourselves, not to be running away from ourselves all the time. The Chayba Salavava says, when a person finds himself alone, he finds himself in a matzav of bedidus. He should think to himself that this is a toiva. Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to show us, wants us to help us find who we are. And a person should think that even anybody who has kraven all over the world, there's going to come a time when he will be all alone when he stands before the Bezlan Shalmala. ben. And then he will be only who he is. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is making us, forcing us to look at ourselves to see who we are. And we mustn't look down at anybody else and think, oh, I'm okay. It's about this one, about that one. The more one understands, the more sensitive one's soul is, the more thoughtful one is. The more is demanded of him. They tell the story about the man with Kamishlan. He once came into a tish and he waited a long time to start Kiddush. He was waiting and waiting and finally started Kiddush. And later to see the master, why did you take so long? He says, When I come into a tish, I first look around and I look at every person. I won't make Kiddush until I realize and I understand that every person here is greater than me. And there was one person tonight who was so Magushim, who was so coarse, who was so, he was so peasant like. I couldn't see. In what way was he better than me? And I thought and I thought and then I realized if I would be such an Ishmagushim, would I come to the Tisha of a member Pramishlana? And then I was able to make Kiddush. You must not feel superior. We have to be Machliyam ourselves. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is telling us to break our gaiva, to break, to break our arrogance, to be machnia, to do a real tshuva, to do an emes of tshuva, because this is a na'il like we've never had before. We're involved with something much bigger than anything we had before. Let us 
cleanse the atmosphere, let us flood the atmosphere with, with our tears of tshuva. Let us take our Ayim Kippur Machzorim, our Svarim of tshuva, and find time to talk to the Rabbi Nishalim and promise him, promise him that from now on we're going to strive to be the tzaddikim that we were created to be. We have to be committed if we want to have a world that's Roy for Mashiach. We have to pour our resources not into Narishkeit, not into nonsense, but into building our fortresses of Chinuch to have strong yeshivas, strong moistus ha Because every person, every ben Torah, everyone who understands to think like a Torah heat, anyone who has midas toivus, is such a blessing to the world. He's an economic blessing, a social blessing. He's a shtik bracha. And someone who has midas roi, is someone who's selfish, someone who doesn't have a Torah outlook, it's like a virus who spreads contamination, Rahman al If we want the future, we have to take seriously our achrayas to strengthen our moistus satayra. To know and to think of what life is really about. When HaKadosh Baruch Hu is forcing us to face our mortality, to think about what could have been accomplished a frac- with, with a fraction of the money that was wiped out in the last week of Yiddish Geld that went Latimian, fantasy money, hundreds of millions that, in, 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 in trust funds, in, on, the, on deposit of the Bank of Gehenna. Imagine the anguish of someone coming up to Shemayim. As the Chofetz Chaim says, when a person is finished with Gehenna, it's only 12 months. And then forever, for all eternity, he has to live with what he could have accomplished. And says that's far worse than any Einish anybody could ever imagine. Anybody could, could, could ever imagine. Sadoka Tatsul Mimovis, doesn't say Matsul Mimovis, says Tatsul Eloshan Osid. What we do now in this time of Nisoyen will, will protect us in the future, will protect us from Misa, from Pega. From all Tzoros, Rachman, and Lutzlon. Then there was the Magaifa by the Adas Koyrech. Rachman, and Lutzlon. Now in such a time, don't we see the senselessness, the Sinas the Machloikis, in the Lord Shonara, in all the Zilgl of Tamidah Chachomim, now is the time for Messiris Nefesh. How much Kvoyed Shomayim, how much Kvoyed Shomayim, how much would we shake the world if now all of us, all of the Eidus Hakdoshis, who are massive of Machloikis, would decide to put everything aside and be mevater once and for all and embrace one another, be ahavo, and let the past be forgotten. I mean, the kind of also chula maguda echos. It's very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult. It's easy to talk. One is not under the soyan. But could we imagine, could we imagine how the heavens would shake? What we need now is Mesiris Nefesh. What we need now is, is, is sacrifice, real, real things that we've never thought we were capable of before. But once they're done, we'll see how much Chiyas and Shefa and Rachmim will breathe into, into all of Klal Yisrael. If today, a form of Lash and Hara, a form of Lashon Hara that's electronically transmitted, that destroys people. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is, is, is showing us this. Well, what is this virus? I've heard that if you were to take all of the coronavirus in the world and put it into, a, into one liquid form, it wouldn't even fill up a half a teaspoon. But look how it's raging, how much destruction, what a disaster it's causing. That's, that's a picture, that's a marshal 
of what a word of Lashon Hara looks like when it goes viral. Of Zilzul Talmide Chachomim, Yoimon Velaylo, how much kash is Oyrev and Azuz and destruction of Chinuch does this bring? If anybody has any shaykhis to any, and certainly Achman Litzlon, if he ever posted such a thing on any of these sites, to lie down on the floor and cry out to the Rabbi Nishmei Chattasi or Visi Poshati. Imagine, imagine if by tomorrow tens of thousands of people, you shouldn't have any connection to any of these sites, but those who are never already on them should close their accounts and say, I will never be connected. And let anybody who carries such sites say, I will never, ever be connected to any such a thing again for the rest of my life. We need a Pinchos who got up at Hamagefo, people who are ready to stand up and do what's right and do what's emes. Imagine how that would shake the world. And then we would find, we would find suddenly happiness coming into our life. Meaning, tick for hope. We would suddenly find ourselves filled with vitality. Filled, filled with, with real simcha, with real joy. We want life. What are we crying about? We cry, we want life. And we give away life ourselves. We forfeit life ourselves. If this is what we want, we want to have real simcha, we have to live with an awareness that we're only here, that, that li life is eternal, life is forever. Our journey on this world is, is an infinitesimal amount of what our real life is. All that Olam Haba is, is just what we do with this small, of, small amount of time we have here. This is what HaKadosh Baruch Hu is telling us. The Gemara tells the story of Ramamluna Zutta, who was asked at a house in the Israel on Mar to sing, to make Freilich at the house, and he got up and he sang, Vail on the Mishnah, Vail on the Mishnah, woe to us that we are going to die. And everybody asked, what kind of way is that to be Mishameh at a house in the Ramosha Rosenstein, who was the Mashgiach and Lomja, they say it was Lama Dvob Tzadik, with Abal Moifis. He said, a Niflodi Kivod. He said, all simch in this world is fake simch. It's all to divert. It's all to divert our, our focus from remembering that there's a Yom Misa. That's not real simch. Real simch is to know that there's a vial on the Mishnah, that there's a life of eternity that all of us must once face. And Alpha P came to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu simch, and only then can we experience what real simch is. And the third Magaifa was by the Benoy Smoyov, Rachman Litzlon. We look around us and we see how the Uma Sa'ilam are ready to make Gidorim and Siogim and separate themselves from everything around them, all the things that are important to them, all the things that are truly meaningless, yet meant so much to them. They're ready to be guard themselves and cut themselves off because they sense the danger. We all have our Yetzirahs, all of us and all in Yonim, where there's Kinna, Taiva, Kovid, Achman al-Itzlam, the terrible Nisyayinus of Pritas B'zman Hazer, Lev Yedei Amoras Nafshoi, to be guided ourselves properly, to make proper Siyogim, to remember that we are an Am Kodosh. We are an Am Kodosh. We have to be Mephias. We have to be Mephias, the Rabbi Nishalaylam. We're faced with an Nisoyan of technology. And we all know the destruction 
that it has wrought, especially on our youth, on our whole way of thinking, on our whole ability to think. And we've tried and we tried, and the Emma's Klal Yisrael is to be commended. We've done so much. We've lifted ourselves above the world with all sorts of Gedara Musiyogim. But Nebuch, Nebuch, is still an Oilam Hefke Rachman al Islam. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is cleaning up the world. All of the Goyesh and Mekoymes, all of their Ve'idoiz Nus, all of their Mekoymes of Chet. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is closing them down. And we have to close our connection to any of these things. We watched as the Uma Soilo in their arrogance try to bring us back to the Deir Mabu to laugh at HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu finally said, I will not be trifled with. Yoshe Bashamayim Yishok. We watched this and we saw this. And even though it has nothing to do with Klal Yisrael. But we didn't scream. We were quiet. And we even discussed nonchalantly. And we watched as the Doramabal aspired to leadership of the free world. Givald, Givald. It was our Rahmanas and our Baruch who's covered. We're an Am Kodesh, we're a Heilige folk. Our connection to technology we know is bound in many cases to our connection to, to Parnosa. Let me share with you words that I heard two weeks ago from the Amshin of Rebbe Zalzayn Gesundten Stark that made me tremble. He said something so clear and so posh and so obvious. It was meant to be an Asifa in Eretz Yisrael. Just last week, before all of this broke out, all the Yeshiva Bachrim to discuss Gedorim and Siogim about the cell phones and, and the Kalim Bekalim Shoinim. And I asked the Rebbe, what's the message? And he said, Dvorim Neiroim. And this should be our guideline. So the Gemara says, when somebody has two paths to go, one can go on one path with his preachers, and the other path, with, with, with one of there's a possibility of an assignment of preachers, the other path where, where he's safe. It's called Ike Dark Achrino. He said, with his Ike Dark Achrino, the Gemara says, a very strong lotion. The Rebbe didn't even want to say the word. But we all know the Gemara, what it says about Ike Dark Achrino. And he said, when one has any such Kli, no matter how many filters he has, if it's something, that has a possibility to bring to Chet, there's Ike Dark Achrina. There's Ike Dark Achrina. There's Oifanim that is completely Shomun. And a person has to ask himself, is it Ike Dark Achrina? And if it is, Rahman al Islam, what the Gemara says. It's so simple. It's so straightforward. It's so Emmas. Let us honestly ask ourselves in a time, in a time of Gili, of Kuwait Shamayim, in a time of Gili of Emes, is it Ikedar Kachrina? Do I have to take out these Kalim in public where everybody sees? Is it, is it no Ikedar Kachrina? Must I have this feature? Must I have that feature? And certainly what is a Bacha in Eretz Yisrael? What does he need besides 
because you need that bichlal. It's the basic ability to make a phone call. Everything else is ikadar ta'chvina. And we'll do pulas of real mesiris nefesh. We'll see bateyotzer amagefo. We'll see the gili of kveit shemayim. Gedorim and siogim and kedush and sneers. The boy say, "Heiligen noshim sitkonius." We all know the emes. We all know Khalila to be Chas Shalom. It can't be the Catholic. But in the time of Emmas, in the time of Emmas, the time of Tshuva, the time of Chizik, there are many different levels. The begodim, the head coverings, the shaitlach of today. Many of what of what we're wearing designed for Gruim Shabuumois. The same ones that are, are purchased by by, by the Nochriyos, by the Gruim Shabuumois. Everybody knows. And everybody wants to be better. And everybody feels the shaker that's in it. Gedele Yisrael begging and pleading. Now is the time. Now is the time we could be macabre. Now is the time when HaKadosh Baruch Hu is pushing us inside, into our homes. And telling us what the real COVID of Abbas Yisrael is, is Edelkeit and Sneers. And Lomano Emes. We have to be Emes Dick. And when we see those who want to be Mahader, and those who want to be on a higher Madrega of Sneers, to be encouraging the derech of a yid, the beauty of a yid is that he takes joy and delight when he sees somebody's being mahadar and avodis Hashem. What happens when we see someone who learns with greater asmada, someone who davens better, somebody who gives more tzedakah? And so we should be inspired and happy when people are prepared to be mahadar in yonim of tzniyus. And perhaps sometimes because we know deep in our hearts the true emmas, we can't bear it. And rather than face it, we criticize the machavek, the mazalzal. Let us be mishabech, what is heilig. Let us be honest about what is virtuous. And let us be mechazik. Those who want to be mechadashem shamayim at higher levels and hope and aspire that we can rise, that we can become greater. Let us not, we don't know how this will end. But let us certainly, if we go through such an experience, be certain that we will change forever. Let us now take this feeling of all that we have and put it into us and make it part of us. And yes, 
they're going to be alias via leaders. Somebody told me, a businessman who was saying, you know, now I feel so close to Kaddish Baruch Hu. I feel the silliness and, and, and the, the senselessness. I feel the hevel havolim of everything. And then a few minutes later, I'm back to where I was. I'm falling back in, in, into the world of nonsense. And I told him, that's the way of the world. The Pasik says, describing the tzura of the malachim, the Pasik Yecheskel, v'achayos rotsoi v'shoiv. That means that the malachim, they are rotsoi, they jump towards HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and then v'shoiv, they fall back. And because they fall back, they try and they jump back again. B'Shem the Goyen has brought that this tenuah of Rotzer V'Shoiv, this is the reason for Kiyama Oilam. Kiyama Oilam stands on She'ifa Ta'kadosh Baruch Hu. Kiyama Oilam is because when we fall back, we have a She'ifa to rise again and be Mechadish again. I saw Rav Shem Shem Pinkas Lechayin Levrocha writes, he says, even I didn't see this anywhere, but it's Pashat by me, Betachlis HaPashtis. If there would be a moment in the world when everything was perfect, everything was exactly the way I wanted it to be, I'd have everything exactly the way I would want it. In that rega, the world would go back to toyu vavoyu and cease to exist. Because in a moment when we're not crying out, Hashia Hashem, there's no schus kiim of the world. And so our matzovim of shoiv are there for us to be mekai in the oil. And perhaps we can add that the tzura that he says that the world cannot have a kiyam o'elam is the tzura of Yemois HaMashiach when it says Yomim She'ein Bohem Chayfet because that will not be a world that needs kiyam that will be a world that just is but the world that needs kiyam needs our constant she'ifa and now when we're battling with our nisyonis and we're feeling distance from HaKadosh Baruch and we're calling out to him from the trenches from our shiurim at home from our tillers, from our bakoshes from our chizik from one to another the chayis rotzev is shoiv this is kiyam o'elam whatever Rabbi say the chet Egel was a chet in the chastoran of emunah and that brought him a geifo how could they have had a chesor and emunah? They saw HaKadosh Baruch Hu. They saw the world shaking. They heard the Kailas of Rakim. HaKadosh Baruch Hu put two crowns on their head. They said, Nasa Nishma. And then they went and worshipped an eagle. The Medrash says, at the same time they were saying Nasa Nishma, they were already planning how to make an eagle. How could such a thing be? Perhaps the pshat is, they saw HaKadosh Baruch Hu's majesty and glory in such grandeur. They saw the greatness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu shaking the world. And they couldn't believe that HaKadosh Baruch Hu can have a personal connection, a personal relationship with little me. And they had that chesarna and said, yes, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is giant, but also lahem egel maseicha, we need something to connect to. And that chesarna muna brought the egel. The Muna that we need to have now, Rabbi Yisai. And the Shir Shal Pagoyim of Yoshev B'Seise, which is the capital which protects us from Dever and Magaifa, Midever, Boifa Yalach, Miketish Yashit Saroyim. It says, Yipo Mitzitcha Elef, Uravavim Iminecho, Elecho Lo Yigosh. What kind of thrill is that? In the time of Magaifa, thousands should fall on my right and my left. And not affect me. What about everybody else? But David Amelech tells each one of us to say, He's teaching us how to think. We have to know that even in a time when it seems the whole world is falling apart, that has nothing to do with any single yochid. Each yochid, every single yid has to look and believe. That even in a massive of Yipo Mitzitcha El Vomi Necho, it's Eilecho Loi Yigosh. You have your own personal Cheshmet, the Rabbi Yishlam, and every single Yi does. Someone once asked the Elijah Chazanish about plane travel. He was afraid it's dangerous. The Chazanish said, planes don't crash, people do. And so too, stock markets don't crash, people do. The world doesn't crash. HaKadosh Baruch Hu 
has each yid his own Eilecho. Somebody was telling me, I know a person who had, had he had invested in, in, a, in a hotel in a different state, and I heard from him in the past few months that he was suffering, it wasn't working out, and he was losing a lot of money, and now that all of this was going on, I, I called him, I thought, oh, never, he must be doing so terrible, now these businesses are doing the worst. He said, you wouldn't believe it, strangest thing. For the first time, all the hotels are losing, I, I'm up to 97% occupancy. I can't figure it out. What's there to figure out? Hashem wants you to have panos. He gave you panos. But perhaps there's more to it. The Tzodik writes, every single Yid is a Roish Hador in one Indian. Like it says, Am Mordechai, the nation of Mordechai. Mordechai was the Roish Hador of Mechia Samolek. And each person has an entire arm who he represents. Every single Yid in his Nisyoinus, in his Avoida, is a Roish, is a Melech of the entire Om. And each one of us is Yipo Mitzitcha Elef, Rav Mimi Necho, Elecho Lo Yigosh, and encompasses all of the Om that he carries with him, that he represents. We know our Betochen is, is only one, Rabbi Nishal Oilam. Nothing's happening now. On Shoshani Yom Kippur, we said, Mi Barash, Mi Bamagefo, Mi Ayoni, Mi Ayoshe. That's all there is. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu is a Gita Tata. HaKadosh Baruch Hu waits for our tshuva. And all the terrible Oymshim that are brought in the Chazal, that are brought in the Svarim HaKadoshim, that HaKadosh Baruch is not mevater on a single chet. Yet tshuva erases everything. Not only does it erase everything, tshuva me'ahavo takes all of this doinus and turns them into zochiyos. That is what is available. That is what our Heli Gitata wants to give us. Tshuva me'ahavo means, I think it says in the Me'iri, you think Tshuva Mahava means like a, a fire, like the Elegi Badit Shiva. Tshuva Mahava means when a person says, the Bainish told him, I'm doing Tshuva because Ich will sein a mensch. I'm fed up with all of the nonsense. Not what I want to be. I want to be what you want me to be. And that Tshuva takes all of the Chatoyim and transforms them into Zochiyos. There are new voice, difficult new voice. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is speaking to us. We're hearing the new voice of Yeshaya that we learned after the Shabbos Chazayin. Don't even want to repeat them. But look in the Pesukim. We know that the same Rabbi Nishel Olam. It was the Rabbi Nishalayim who said to us, Koyomar Hashem, Zoharti lo chesed nuroyich ahabas kulu lo soyich, lech tech achrei ba midbo beheretz lo zerua. We're approaching the Yontav of Pesach, the Chodesh of Nisan, the Gulas Yisroel. The Rabbi Nishalayim who says to us, Habein yachili efrahin em yelet shashuin. I pine for you, I ache for you, my child. Let us be determined to be Misakin. Let us be determined to be Nisroimim. Let us be determined. To get rid of all of the the economic pressures of societal Judaism, let us be marbe in tzedakah v'chesed in the time when there's going to be an asoyin, when there is an asoyin. 
Let us hear what HaKadosh Baruch Hu is saying to us. Krono Bosneom. They tell the story, the great banker, Anshul Rothschild, once he was upset with one of his great advisors, he became too arrogant, so he fired him. And the person wasn't concerned, you know, he had such a resume, any bank would hire him. He went from bank to bank, he said, I work for the great Rothschild, but nobody would hire him. And then he realized that Rothschild was sending ahead messages and telling him not to give him a job. He went home and he complained to his wife, bad enough, you fired me. Now he has to say, tell everybody not to hire me. His wife says, why don't you think? He says, we know Rothschild's a good person. He's a kind employer, he's a generous man, he's a Baltzadokia. He doesn't want to hurt you. If he just wanted to get rid of you, he would just send you away. If he's telling everybody not to give you a job, that means he wants you to break your arrogance and come back to him. 2,000 years ago when HaKadosh Baruch Hu exiled us from Eretz Yisrael. He could have just sent us away and left us alone. If he wanted to Khalila get rid of us, why did, he, why did he ensure that wherever we go, we were thrown out? Why in every country were we persecuted? Why didn't he just leave us alone? The answer is, because he wants us back. That's what HaKadosh Baruch Hu is saying to us now. He wants us back. He wants us to leave go of all the false idols. He wants us to come to our senses. He wants us to be the Heilige Klal Yisrael that we are. The Yontav of Pesach is approaching. We don't know if it will be in Yerushalayim with the Korban Pesach. We don't know maybe this will be behind us. Maybe we'll still be in the middle of it. Perhaps a Kodesh Baruch Hu wants us to have a Seder like the very first Seder. The first Seder, that awesome night of Yitzhiya's Mitzrayim. When we sat, locked in our houses, in our homes, surrounded by Tzorkos, by Magaif all around, singing Halo Kakadosh Baruch Hu, being Dovik Bashem, not listening to the Koilois. Hashem protecting us. Uposach Hashem. Al botem b'nei Yisrael. B'layitan ha-mash. Eslobe al boteichem lingois. To experience the glory of that Seder. The preciousness of the Bedidus with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Let us utilize these days of Bodod, Bodod the Shetavis, Bechol, Drachecho, Do'eyu, to refine ourselves in every single Midah. The Lake Vodesh Hashim, as I mentioned before, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is giving us an ability to experience closeness to Him. And the MS is, He did it with a Chesed, because this very same terror could have been in an oifin that we would be impossible to deal with, that we would be in such a state of panic, we wouldn't be able to think straight. Yet in his chesed, he made it that yes, it's terrifying. And he's not going through terrible tzoros. Yet it's still in an oifin that we're able to think. We're able to concentrate on our betochen and concentrate on our relationship with him. The Swara Magdashim tell us the Pasik in Mishle Tiradev Khatoim Tiradev Ro The Oynish of a Chet The Oynish of a Chet is the Chet itself. The Chet comes and punishes the person. 
Could we imagine, could we imagine what an einish, what an einish for a person in such a time when all of Klal Yisrael can experience a closeness and elevation to be together with the Rabbi Nishalem. That the Chet of these Kalim Tumayim should punish a person that in such a situation his mind and his head should be there and not be part of this exalted connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Nebuch, 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 what a punishment. The Ebesh should protect us. The Ebesh should bring us to our senses. The Rabbi Yishlam is all elfin. The Am Hashem. HaKadosh Baruch Hu knows us, knows our koiches, knows the endless depth that's inside of us, knows our tshuka, knows our longing for him, knows how we've just, we've gotten a little bit intoxicated. Pachad is meifige sayayin. He sent us the fear to heal us. May we be zoiche bekarev. All of Chayli Yisrael should be zoiche to refuah shalema bekarev. All of Yiddish Panosos, all of Yiddish Abseidim, Abshel Helfen should be restored. Eden should have Panosa Belevach. We should be able to serve our Kaddish Baruch Hu, Mitech Simcha, Benachas, and Achav Sadaf. We should be able to go from here directly to the Beis Hamigdosh, Bisham Noichem and Astvachem and Apsachim, together with Mashiach Tzidkainu and Binya Beis Hamigdosh, Bimheir Rabbi Amenu Amen.